Hello there YouTube and today we're going to start up with NURBS that is surface modeling which is different than polygonal, polygonal modeling that we had been taking uh, up till now. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at NURBS uh, loaf revolve and planar which are the uh, basic uh, options that we use for NURBS modeling. So, so far as per now we had been using polygonal modeling techniques but uh, today we're going to use the curves and surfaces techniques. Uh, so it's right here on this section right here. If you're using Maya 2016 and below, you might not see that you have a modeling menu. Instead, you might see that polygon, polygon and surfaces are two different menus. But uh, in 2017, they actually decided that the tools for uh, polygon and uh, surfaces are right here uh, in the same section. Anyway, so let's go on into curves and surfaces right here. So curves and surfaces is a bit different than how uh, we are used to in polygons. So in polygons, we actually uh, create this type of a sphere. So here we have uh, edges, we got uh, faces, we got vertices and so forth. But in a surface sphere, so let's say, for example, if I were to bring out a surface sphere, let me just turn on the interactive uh, modeling for that. So let's just go to uh, over here. Let me just go to create a uh, nerves primitive and let me turn on interactive creation just like that. Okay, so once I do that, what I want to do is I'm going to create a nerve surface and you can see that the curve is actually, uh, it has a bit of a less uh, dividends than what I'm used to in polygons. So if I were to go over here and control the house, you can see that I got my vertices, which is a bit of um, floating in the air instead of like just uh, within the shape, it's, uh, uh, shape itself in the polygonal sphere. So what I can also do is in the channel box layer uh, inside the nerve sphere, I got something called the sweep. So you can see that if I were to select the sweep option, select the start sweep, hold the middle mouse button and click and drag, you can see that I can sweep the shape just like that. So that is what is possible with the nerves model uh, of the shapes. So if you have the nerve cube, for example, so these are actually not attached together. These can actually be uh, separated without me having to separate the um, select the face and so forth. So these are actually different shapes, unlike my polygonal models, which are actually the same shape from the beginning itself. So anyways, let us start modeling. So let us start with a simple wine glass modeling. So for that, I'm going to use the curved surface right here. We're going to use something called the revolve technique. So let me just grab this out. So let me just grab uh, the curve right here. So let me start up with the uh, side view for this. So let's draw a side view of the um, wine glass right here. So my wine glass starts off just like this and it has a bit of a, bit of a curve just like this. All right. And it's gonna end right here. Okay. So this is how my wine glass is actually uh, from the half side. So you can see that uh, this side is going to be uh, duplicated. All right, so let's go on to the main perspective view right here. And what we're going to do is if we were to revolve this, just like we did in the flower, you can see that I actually get a wine glass like shape, just like this. So what I am going to do is I'm going to tell uh, Maya to actually revolve this for me using the surfaces instead of actually just the uh, wires that I did just like that. So you can see that I can get the shape just like that by revolving. So I want this to revolve along the y-axis as you can see here. So uh, because this is standing up straight, it's on the y-axis. I want to revolve this. I can click this one right here, but I can also go to surfaces. Let's go to revolve. And in the settings, you might have noticed that there are these square checkered boxes. So if you directly click on an option, then it uh, directly applies the settings uh, without giving me further options. But if I were to click on this square uh, box like shape right here, what it actually does is it brings up more uh, settings for me. So I can actually choose the access preset in this case, like I mentioned before, I need the Y. So let's just click uh, apply and you can see that this actually revolves and I get my wine glass like shape. So it's actually appearing black right now. Uh, so that in order for me to actually get the true color of this, let me just go to a lighting and select two sided lighting right here so that I see it perfectly normal. So I can move the glass to the side just like this. And the beauty of this is that 
I can go to, to the uh, curve, I can right click, I can control the vertices and if I were to move the vertices, you can see that I can make further changes to the glasses like that even after I add in the revolve. So I can do this, I can just grab the revolve part out right here, just drag this down and drag this to the front just like this and drag this to the side just like this as well. So that's how I can reshape my wine glass as you can see this. So. Uh, this is quite handy. So now after that what I can also do is I can delete the history So once I delete the history, let's go to edit delete all by type and history now It is fixed out now my nerve surfaces doesn't actually do anything because I deleted the history So it lost the connection So once you're finalized with the model what you can do is you can delete the history and that's how you actually make the uh, objects just like that so further part what I can do is I can use loft uh, revolve and planar as well uh, to create similar options So what I can do is so this is how we use the revolve. So let's use the loft now All right, so if I have a shape like this for example, I'm gonna duplicate the shape just like this duplicate this out or So if I were to select this in order I have to select this in order uh, Mind that so I'm gonna select the first shape the second one third one, fourth one, and fifth one, and I'm going to loaf this out. So I'm going to go to my surfaces, I'm going to loaf this, and you can see that it actually makes a pipe-like pipe shape. What it basically does is it connects those shapes together. And if I were to select one of these uh, uh, wires, and if I were to scale this up, you can see that it actually uh, molds the shape according to what I want over here. So I can also do this with other type of uh, shapes. So let me do this. All right, press enter. I'm gonna press shift D drag this up a bit All right, so drag this up up All right, and then increase the size just like this. Okay, I need to center pivot this one so center pivot go, go to uh, Modify uh, Where the center pivot right here increase the size of this and you can see I can select this in order just like this select this in order and I'm going to loaf this out and let's see what happens. So if I were to loaf this, you can see that I get the exact shape uh, that I actually wanted uh, from this wire itself. So that's how the loaf actually works in uh, my polygonal tool. I can also do this. I can also uh, use planar. For example, if I have a shape just like this, but if I have a rectangular shape like this, what it actually has is... Um, separate control vertices. So I cannot use planar on these type of shapes. So for example, if I have a circle, for example, all right, so let me just create a circle just like this, press F to actually focus on that. And I'm gonna control my vertices, just move this around. And let me use something called planar on this. So if I were to do this, go to uh, planar. So let's go for planar and you can see that it actually covers up the area just like that. So that's how, how the planar works uh, in uh, my nerve surfaces but the planar won't work if my vertices is not flat for example if I have it on three axes just like this if I was where to use the planar now you can, you're gonna see that it's gonna show an error because it has to be straight so just like this it has to be straight otherwise the planar is not going to work so that's how you use planar inside of nerves all right so another handy tool for us to use as well uh, I can also do this, I can create custom shape just like this, all right, in the plane itself and I'm going to close this uh, right here. So let me just um, shift right click and you can see that there's open and close curves here. So just do that and close the curve and if I were to use planar here, then it covers that surfaces just like that. So this is a separate surface so I can go to control vertices and I can actually control this to create different type of shapes just like this. And if you go to one, you can see that there's a polygonal shape as well. By default, it's on three, so it's quite smooth. So you work with smoother versions of the shapes here on the polygonal modeling. So you can actually create simple things like a gla glass or wine glass or anything else uh, just by using the loft, uh, planer, and other tools just like that in uh, curves and surfaces. So in the curves and surfaces, again, so you can control the vertices and you have something called isoform. So if you want to add in a division, it's something like an edge loop, but it does not add the isoform directly. So what you have to do is you actually have to tell it to add the division so that 
uh, my division is added. So after you actually drag it down, you have to go to uh, surfaces and insert uh, isopalm just like that and once I click on insert isopalm let me just drag this one out as well so drag this one out let me go to isopalm drag this one out just like that go to insert isopalm okay so curve let's go for surfaces and insert insert okay isopalm you can see that my isopalm is inserted just like that so that is how it works if I want to duplicate a surface curve as well I go to isopalm now let's say, for example, I want this kind of a curve just like that. So uh, let me just make a few adjustments to this. So let's just pull this in just like that. And then I'm going to go to uh, isopalm just here. Okay, so let's say I want this kind of a surface curve. So I'm just going to go to uh, surface over here and I'm going to go uh, say uh, duplicate surface curve. Okay, duplicate let's 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 just go go to curve okay there you go duplicate surface curve let me just click on that and you can see that exact curve is actually meant over there so i can go to surfaces and planar this out as well so you can see that there are a lot of handy uses for this kind of modeling technique i uh, hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe